Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shaha and welcome to our YouTube channel Cognitive Coders. I hope you guys are doing well and today this is our part 37 video of our Pyspark interview series. Okay, so in this video uh, we'll discuss one of the data engineering interview scenario questions from KPMG. So uh, in, the, in the KPMG technical round what kind of question nowadays they used to work uh, they used to ask so that we will discuss here so in their recent interview question they uh, they asked this question okay and uh, we try to solve it by our by our approach if you have any other approach you can uh, you can try and you can uh, paste it in the comment box okay so that everybody can see so let's go mm, so before going ahead uh, I want to introduce our channel so this is our channel cognitive coders if you still have not subscribed you can go ahead and see our video and subscribe our channel uh, for the latest update and press the bell icon also uh, so I would request you guys if you are uh, watching our channel daily basis please please do subscribe and do comments on the video uh, the, pr the pros and cons all the things you can comments uh, and also mm, if any other uh, content requires any uh, any specific uh, content if you required on data engineering or any coding perspective you can mention that in the video comments so that we, we can create the video on based on that comment okay so the, this is our playlist you can go ahead the real time scenarios data factories PySpark data breaks interview scenarios all the things are there okay these all are useful so we, we we are getting a good feedbacks from the uh, from the um, uh, people who are watching okay so uh, let's go uh, so this is a this is the question from KPMG so write a query to find out all employees who have continuously absent in the last two days or more days okay so this is the question so uh, they have given uh, a data set so I have Im imported all the functions and windows uh, a function okay based on my requirements okay so what I am doing mm. <coughs> so this is the data frame they are giving us okay so this thing it is not required I am not I will not create any view for now because I I will not use a, I will not uh, give any solution in SQL uh, in this video I'll do do this solution in PySpark only and if uh, if you want you can try with the SQL solution and you can paste in the video comment section so that uh, the community can watch the whole world can watch your solution also they, uh, they this will your solution will be uh, a, a useful thing for some uh, many people okay so please try with yourself by yourself and give give it okay so let's go with our approach today so what we, we uh, they have given us this uh, uh, attendance data frame okay so employee ID 1 uh, uh, A means absent B means present okay so the date they have given okay employee ID 1 2 3 the date they have given the employee ID 1 2 3 the date they have given so based on the their requirements uh, continuously absent in last two days or more days so from here if I will see one absent two absent three present for 25 then one present two absent three present for 26 27 a absent one absent two absent three present so consecutive two or more days if we want to see the absent then what will be the output my output will be two because consecutive absent for one absent then present for 26 and 27 then absent not consecutive but for two every day it is absent for three all the day uh, he uh, this uh, for employee ID three present or for all the day so will not consider it so 
we need to work here with, with absent data okay so for that first what we'll do we'll filter the data with abs uh, with the attendance okay who ha who is absent only will work with their data so that thing I'm doing so the code I'm, I have written for saving the time okay and I will go through each and every uh, line by line code and try to give you the understanding okay so what it is happening here so I am adding one new column with long date there the same dates unique timestamp I am adding okay so what it is mm, if I'll go and after that we are filtering on the attendance column so basically based on this date it's uh, long value it is giving the unique ti unix timestamp value okay so and uh, it is uh, giving me the filter filtered data frame with only the absent uh, data there is no present data because we need to work with absent data only so that that's why the employee id 3 who is already present for all the days it is not coming here okay so now what we'll do now w we will do here some window specification we, we are creating the window okay and based on the window we are taking the lag date okay one day lagging so and also the that l uh, that lag day we are storing it in in previous date column okay, we are adding one column previous date where we are taking the lag date means for a uh, no, sorry for one uh, the first date is 25 for one second date is 27 for the previous day for one for this will be 25 so like this okay so lag function already we have used earlier also uh, you can see my earlier videos there I have explained it much better okay for saving time I will not explain much more here okay so what we are doing we are we are taking the lag date so for one based on the window we are first creating the window for one okay in window function we are partitioning by employee id so based on the employee id the windows are getting created okay, here okay and on that each and every employee id window we are taking the we are using the lag function to get its back date so for 27 for 25 there is nothing so it, it is null previous date for 27 it is there is 25th date for uh, employee id 1 so it is taking getting me 25th date so for each and every previous date also we are we are taking the unique time unix timestamp for lo uh, as long previous date okay so why uh, we are using this uh, unique timestamp value that uh, I will also explain in later okay so this this is nothing but uh, the dates unique timestamp value okay so now what I will do I will go here I will make a condition okay so here why I am using uh, unique timestamp that I will explain here so if I will run it what I am doing so <coughs> you are taking one new column with consecutive name so there what I am putting we are giving one condition here so column long date column long date and column previous date different should be 86400 so 86400 is unique unix time means it's a one day given that there is 24 hours in a day if you can google it you, g you will get it that 86400 means one day's value of unique time unit time time okay so basically wherever the uh, the previous date and the current date uh, different value is one day that I will consider here or if the uh, column value is null that I will consider here as true 
okay those are the same thing so previous date and uh, so long date and long previous date if I'll consider so for long previous date it is uh, null so automatically so um, uh, so long previous date means well, long a long previous date or long previous date we can mention it here uh, the same thing long previous date here it is true it is null automatically it will take the two true condition for long date and long previous date here there is nothing null so it will first check long date minus long previous date if it is th the value of one day then it will give the true so both of its value is not matching with this value so it is giving us the false so it should not be matching because the date is 27 and uh, it is 25 means two days different okay so it is not matching the value it is giving us the false for, for this already null so it is giving us a true so for this the both this value matching with uh, uh, both these values different matching with this it is giving us the true so 26 and 25 one day is different so it is giving us the true so like this this is also same okay so for two consecutive days matching absent so that's why it is true but for one there is consecutive days matching not matched with uh, mm, absent because there is the middle of the, uh, the uh, that this date 25th to 27 middle of uh, this date there is 26 and th that 26th day uh, employee ID 1 was present if, if you if you see employee ID 1 was present on 26th so that's why you are not getting here uh, and the con the consecutive streak is false for for that okay we have taken now we'll perform one group by operation on employee id okay <coughs> so before sorry before group by we will uh, take one streak id to uh, to get the uh, get the thing so what i am doing here uh, so based on the consecutive we are matching it as an id okay so wherever it is uh, uh, the consecutive id uh, it is existing it is consi uh, it is considering uh, it is considering uh, the it this one is uh, negative means so wherever it is the consecutive negative it is giving us the uh, one value and wherever it is not uh, this condition is not satisfying it is giving us the zero value okay so now we will perform the group by operation the simply group, group by the employee id and streak id based on the employee id and streak id so if so for one employee id zero streak value we have one one employee id one streak value means false there is this is also one but for two employee id uh, zero streaks there is three consecutive days uh, uh, absent is there so that's why the count is three so now if it is gr greater than we are just filtering it based on based on this data if it is greater than greater than equals to two then it will it will give us the details of employee id and count okay so from here if you if you want to mm, if you want to uh, delete this uh, drop this two column you can drop it and you can take only the employee id column that's your choice but this is the answer okay i hope you understood the concept so this is the funda you have after getting the question you have to make your thought process clear how in which way you, you should solve this question after that you should continue with the approach don't stop after getting the question try try to code by yourself and automatically your thought process will take you through the right way okay 
so don't get nervous whenever you you are getting this question okay if you have any kinds of query you can directly ping in the comment section i will reply on that okay and uh, you can directly connect with me via linkedin or topmate you don't need to pay any single penny to connect with me via topmate all the services are free uh, lots of people are connecting with me also uh, if there is any kind of challenges uh, to solve any questions uh, you can also ping any unknown questions in the comment section uh, or in any video related pros on cons anything you can mm, you can comment on the comment section i would request request you guys you can comment okay because without your comment we will not able to understand that these videos are useful for you guys or not comment like share do do these things these these activities uh, it, it is motivated motivating uh, ourselves also okay so you can join our telegram channel also uh, uh, for getting daily basis update participating daily basis quiz okay or you can follow me uh, in instagram also okay all the links are given in the video description you can take it from there okay so thank you thank you for watching this video and in once again if you still have not subscribe our youtube channel cognitive coders i would request you guys please do subscribe our channel and stay with us because without your support we would will not able to make a uh, larger community okay we will not able to grow our channel okay so thanks for your support thanks for watching our video stay tuned for the next video bye